we see the fruits of a structure in which for generations, for generations, people are taught black is on the bottom and white is on the top. And we all like to be self-congratulatory and say, we don't feel those things, everybody else may, but the structure is there. And the most vital work that we have to do, suppose that we're able to structure the criminal justice system in a way that fewer young black men are arrested or fewer have confrontations with the police, and we release more inmates, then where do they go? They go back to the community where they won't be able to get a job, where they'll face all the same suspicions that they did before, that unless we think of these problems as part of a larger whole, as the need to confront and overcome these vicious lies about white superiority and black inferiority, we simply won't be able to make the progress we should make, despite all the wonderful intentions on this panel and in this room, despite the best will in the world. If we don't confront these forces, then we're simply not going to be able to make the progress that we should.